Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good afternoon, wonderful children of God. Welcome again to Jesus' Miracle for You. Don't forget, this program is timed Jesus' Miracle for You. And uh, the title of my sermon today is The World Without the Spirit is Empty. What did I say? The world without the spirit is empty. And that reminds me, one of my favorite songs I composed many years ago. Not only must you have God's words, my friend, you need God's spirit. Because here in the loan, we give you God's words. But obedience, we give you God's spirit. Not only must you have God's words, my friend, you need God's spirit. I want to sing it. Mm, not only must you have God's words, my friend, you need God's spirit. Not only must you have God's word, my friend, you need God's spirit. Here in the loan, give you God's words. Obedience, give you God's spirit. Here in the loan, give you God's words. Obedience, give you God's spirit. Not only must you have God's word, my friend, you need God's spirit. I sing it again. Not only must you have God's words, my friend, you need God's spirit. Here in the loan, give you God's words. Obedience give you God's spirit. Here in the loan give you God's words. Obedience give you God's spirit. Not only must you have God's words, my friend, you need God's spirit. Not only must you have God's word, my friend, you need God's spirit. Yes, the title of my message today is The World Without the Spirit. It's empty. Yes, many of us believe today that I go to church, I receive the word. Or I preach the word. I can preach the gospel from Genesis to Revelation. Without the spirit, your world is empty. Yes, you can know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. You can quote all the scripture from Genesis to Revelation. But without the Spirit, your words, we have nothing to accomplish. Your words will be empty. Because Jesus, Jesus said the word that I speak to you. Is life and peace. Jesus Christ did not just speak the word. His word that he spoke was laced by the Holy Spirit. That was why a miracle was able to take place. If Jesus had spoken ordinary mm -hmm. words, nothing would have happened. If Jesus had spoken ordinary words, he, he would not be able to turn water into wine. If Jesus had spoken ordinary words, that lame man would have, wouldn't have been, would have been delivered. If Jesus had spoken the other world and say, come on, hey, bring food. Hey, the 5,000, over 5,000 people that were failed wouldn't have been failed. Jesus spoke the word. He taught the message and he backed it by the spirit. And so you are listening to me right now. You are a Christian. You've been going to church all the time. You listen to the word of God. But obedience that will make you a practicing Christian is absent. Without obedience of the word of God, you cannot really, really be a good Christian. Without obeying the scripture, you cannot be able to accomplish that which your word has been sent out to accomplish. The Bible says he sent forth his words and his words healed them. What healed them is the spirit that was mixed by the word. The word alone cannot heal. The word alone cannot deliver. The word alone cannot bless. But when the word is mixed with the spirit, it will accomplish accomplish that which it has been sent to accomplish are you listening to me there my brother and so when you go to church and you hear the word of God you should not just be the hearer of the word alone you have to be the doer it is when you begin to do do what the word says that is when the Holy Spirit will it will enable you to practice what the word says and that is when you become a practical Christian Many Christians are out there today. They are just ordinary Christians. They speak the word, but without action. They speak the word without performance. They speak the word, and their word cannot move mountain. The Bible says, if you have faith as little as the mustard seed, when you tell this mountain to move, it shall move. What will enable the mountain to move is not just the word. It's the word of God mixed with the spirit of God that will bring about the miracle that we are talking about. The Bible says the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. The kingdom of God is not a matter of talk and talk and talk. I can be so eloquent. 
I can be so, so, so great. I can be I mean, an eloquent speaker. I can be a motivational speaker. But when that word is not mixed by the Holy Spirit, it is empty. It has nothing to achieve. Hallelujah. For the Bible says the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk and talk and talk, but of power. When Jesus told his disciples, I have given you power. Yeah, to trample on snakes and scorpions of the world and nothing will harm you. He is talking there about the Holy Spirit. And that was why he asked the apostles to wait in Jerusalem until they are empowered. Because Jesus did not train his disciples to just have the word. He prepared them to receive the power of the Holy Ghost. It was when the apostles received the power of the Holy Ghost. That was when they were able to do exploit. That was why when they were able to do exactly what Jesus did. Hallelujah somebody. So the word. Let's just do a little mathematical calculation. With the scripture. The word plus the spirit brings manifestation of the power of God. The world, W-O-R-D plus spirit, S-P-I-R-I-T, brings about manifestation of the Holy Spirit in miracle, in deliverance, in blessing, in victory, in every other thing that you desire to have. If you have the word alone, minus the spirit, your, the word that you speak out will be empty. It will not have any effect in the hearer. You, the evangelist, you, the pastor, you, the bishop, you, the prophets, if you speak the word alone and that word is not backed by the Holy Ghost, people will hear it, but it will fall into a deaf ears. It will never convict them of their sins. It can never save life. But when you speak the word and the work is backed by the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God that is working in the world will be able to convict and to convict the heart of a sinner, thereby leading them unto salvation, leading them unto submitting themselves unto the will of God. So you can now see, my brother, not only must you have God's words to be an evangelist, you must have God's Spirit. Not only must you have God's word to be a pastor, my friend, you must have the God's spirit. Not only you must have God's word, my friend, to be a prophet, to be a bishop. Oh my God, you need God's spirit because that God's spirit is the propeller, is the engine that moved the world to accomplish that which it has been destined to accomplish. It's like your motor car. The body, the body of the car is the world. And that body cannot move if the engine is not working. It therefore means the engine is the spirit that is behind, that is behind the movement of the world. Without the engine, the machine, the body will not move. Without the engine, by the time you spark the engine, then the body will move. That is the same way it is with, our, with, with, with the word. When you speak the word and it's not backed by the spirit, your word.